Hi everyone, it's Michelle Ladd, and today I am in Tampa, Florida, and I am with Ellsworth Williams, aka Tony, and I am so honored today. He has an organization that he has formed five years ago, and it is called Veterans Counseling Veterans. And I've been sitting here talking to him for quite some time about how he started the organization and all of also about his military career and I can't wait for you to hear some of this and why he actually started his organization. So I would like to introduce you to Tony. And Hello everybody. <laughs> so Tony you served in what branch? Served in the Army. In the Army in how many years? The 24 years, um, 8 enlisted and 16 commissioned. Active, all active duty. Thank you so much for your services to our country. It's quite a sacrifice and I asked this question because I I'm still not quite sure about some of the military things. What was your MOS? Well, when I was enlisted for eight years, I was a, was called a veterinary food inspector. And then my final six years after I finished my ROTC, I was military intelligence officer. Military intelligence. And so I'd like you to share with us the organization that you formed. Why did you form it? Well, the organization I, call, I formed what I call Veterans Counseling Veterans. And I really I formed it mainly as, as you know down the street up here in Tampa we have a uh, hill we have the James A Haley VA and I interned there and during my internship a lot of the um, providers and stuff were referring a lot of veterans to me the hard cases they thought and so I had my I found myself my caseload being pretty 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 um, full with these veterans and I said to myself well why can't we as veterans do this the one thing about the hospital at the time has changed now where there's only like one veteran out of out of 21 uh, counselors. And so that we, so we didn't have that connection. So I said, let me, let me, let me do something that we can do because I'm, you know, right now the narrative is we're all sick. We're all broken. We need help from some, from the mm -hmm. government to help us out. And I'm saying, no, there are people out there who are healthy, who can also help. And that's what Veterans Council Veteran is trying to counter the narrative saying we can also help. We also have something to add um, to help our fellow veterans and their, and their families. That is so awesome. So can you tell them a little bit about the programs that you have? Yeah, so we, you know, when I first started Veterans Council of Veterans, you know, and I, I consider it like a ministry. So right. when I first started it out, I just wanted to be a network of uh, providing other counselors who are veterans or spouse of veterans a way to sit there and, and to help each other out, to mentor, to collaborate, and maybe even find jobs. That's why I first started out. But then uh, through the coming years, things have started changing where I started to find myself focusing more on suicide and uh, postvention. Uh, in fact, two years ago, I started a program called VIVAS, Veteran Family Outreach Support for Suicide Survivors, mm. because of a uh, a, fa a retired sheriff, Carol Razor, her, her son, a Marine, died by suicide. Mm. I went to the funeral you know, in uniform, and it was really upset me. I was just saying, something's got to be done. Mm -hmm. And um, just God said to me, hey, you know, you need, to, you need to form a program. So that's one of our programs I'm really pushing is to provide support for families and, and veterans and friends of veterans who may have died by suicide. So that's one of my programs that I'm really pushing. We also provide training for a suicide prevention. We have a trainer, who, uh, an assist trainer and a safe talk trainer. And so we provide at least once a quarter, we provide training for safe talk for the community. And then twice a year, we provide what's called assist, which is a, a safe talk is three hours of uh, just, it's just more of a quick how to do, how to recognize somebody who may have risk factors for suicide. And then assist, which applies suicide information skills training. That's a two day thing, really more re relevant for uh, chaplains and first responders because it's a two day it, it gives you tools on how to do uh, interventions for somebody who may be thinking about suicide suicide mm -hmm. I also got a program for uh, families military families uh, program and I have a program for a research program which consists of five PhDs um, all of them have have a relationship with the military four of them are actually in the military and one of them they're both their kids in the military and that's uh, what that research team is I'm trying to cover things that the, maybe the, the VA or the media is not covering, like the families. What's going on with them? How mm -hmm. are they adjusting to if a veteran has um, uh, PTSD or if a veteran has a depression or whatever or substance abuse? What's, what are, what's happening to them? Who's helping them out? And so um, I want the research, because there's no research of data on that. Right. And so I want to create something where I can start creating some data so we can start giving you know providing treatments and stuff um, in there. We do workshops. In fact, this Friday, on the 1st of February, I'm going to Orlando. We're providing a symposium on military sexual trauma uh, in, in support of what's called the Florida Men of Council Association's annual conference. So it's a 90-minute symposium, and we got uh, 
I mean, all star panel of uh, from a VA to a Marine that has a, 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 a PhD in clinical psychology, mm. which is kind of weird when I, when you think of a m- Marine. And PhD just don't kind of mix, but anyway, uh, that's uh, I can vouch for that. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> so that's what I always joke with. And so I got a couple guys. Uh, Carlos Garcia, he's um he's from here. He's a practitioner. He's a Marine, um, and he's now a, a clinical psychologist. He's part of it. I got a retired Navy senior chief from out of uh, uh, Jacksonville. She's a licensed mental health counselor. She's gonna be part of the panel. So um, we got a really good panel. And with this symposium, like same like with veterans council and veteran. I'm letting them know. I'm saying you can ask us. If you have a question about veterans and stuff, you can ask us too because we know and we're out there in the field. So I'm, with the symposium, majority of the people there are non-veterans, mm-hmm. providers, mental health providers. And so we're going to try to provide them insights on things that a family or a veteran may go through when it's when it's treatment. So in this Friday here, it would be military sexual trauma and, and that kind of stuff. So we do that as well. We do little workshops um in support of we're partnered with a lot of organizations including the florida mental health council association sun coast mental health council associations uh so we're we're, we're chair with a lot of people and american legion uh, down here at, at post five i'm part of that as well excellent so what is your greatest need right now how can how can the public help you you know i i you know i think about this all the time and um about what you know, if you had a you know a, a wish to be granted, what would it be? You know, for your nonprofit, and I really need more people in the, in the business development side because it's like when you create it, when you're like going to open a restaurant, and all your cooks, all your all your people in your on your restaurant are cooks or chefs, and nobody there for business. So when I have to do marketing, uh, strategies, business models, all that kind of stuff, engagement, outreach, whatever like that, the people I have, they're great people. But they're specialized. They're not like, so I need somebody, uh, one or two people who I can sit there and actually bounce ideas so we can bring it forward. So I think that's one of the main things. And then sponsors. Um, as I have more programs, uh, in fact, uh, uh, May 18th, I'm doing a faith-based Veterans and Families Suicide Prevention post Vincent mm-hmm. Forum. And we're going to have it in St. Pete right now. We think we're having St. Pete, which looks to look for a venue. But I've gotten commitments from the VA, the McDill Air Force Base. U.S. Coast Guard chaplain and, and the local chaplain, uh, Linda Pugsley. So I got commitment from a lot of the veteran side. So when you have events like that, you need sponsors uh, to help reduce some of the costs that you have as, as a nonprofit. So definitely sponsors is a, was another another key need too. Is that is that? So if I was a rated, I would say one or two people who could work with me as far as our staff for business development, and then sponsors. Okay, so how can people get a hold of you for sponsorship? Well, I got a website, so you can go to you can go on the the, uh, the um, www.vetscounselingvets.org and go in that. They can contact me that way. Um, my number is 407-516-8398. They can contact me that way. So there's lots of ways to contact. Well, those two are the main ways to contact me if you want to help out. And you guys know how to reach me. Everybody has my websites. So. As you know, I'm the CEO of the Hero Some Advantage program, but what I'm doing right now for 2019 is my ministry, as well as Tony's doing what he's doing as his ministry. And we just have hearts and we care so much for our veterans that we want to help in any way that we can. So I would like you to visit nationalveteranresources.com. That's the website that I've created, and I'm traveling the country, reaching out to amazing heroes, because you're a hero to me, and I and his wife is a hero, too. Yeah. Uh, and really cool is they're living full-time, R, um, full-time RVers, so I, I'm learning some things. And uh, actually, I get to go on McDill Air Force Base today and check it out a little bit, and that's, that's going to be, uh, I'm living the life, guys. <laughs> so... Um, Please share Tony's program. If you can help in any way, we would truly, truly appreciate it. And it's it's people like Tony that are really making a difference. So uh, please help him in any way that you can. And to find out more information, his website will be listed on my website, nationalveteranresources.com. Thank you so much for your time, everybody. And I thank you so much, sir. Thank you as well. I am so honored. We are in a Walmart parking lot (laughs) in um, Tampa, Florida, in the Hero Mobile. We uh, spent the night here just so I could come and meet him today. 
So um, anyway, you know, I'm all crazy for our heroes. Sure. Thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. God bless everybody. Have a great day.